guys, I'm just uh, starting this new project. I'm going to make a robot, sort of like slash robot slash cyborg. I wanted to give the skull a weird color, not just yellow. So I used sort of like a pearl gray wash what I, make, that I had to mix in Home Depot uh, using this brand, Mini Wax Wood Stain. And as you can see, he has sort of like a bluish tinge to him. I did a couple of washes. I wanted to make it too opaque. Then I'm gonna install this Scary Terry uh, audio servo controller into into his head to control his jaw. Once you know you you um, add sound, so it should be a little interesting. Uh, this is just the beginning. I'll put I'll post more um, videos as I the progress comes along. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I've gone ahead and uh, put the servo in the head. Connected to the audio device circuit board. And I'm using this as a speaker for now anyway. These eye fish things. I might use it in the robot body later on because of the lights. And as you can see I put some kind of monocle and LED in the lights. So I connected it to my iPad and we're gonna try an experiment. The life of the party. I even worked for beach costume as a matter of fact. So anyway, I'm going to connect this to a cylinder body, no arms, no legs, it's going to be just like a, a head, that's what I'm going to call the robot head. It should be kind of funny, entertaining. Well, I'll let you know when I'm almost done with the rest of the robot. Thanks. Okay gang, um, hello again. I'm still working on the robot as you can see. I went ahead and I took like the guts out of an Emilio. I'm using that as a base for the wheels. I'm going to attach that to this drum over here. Let's see if we get a better picture here. This metal drum, which I'm going to put the head in, in here. And I connected the voice, the circuit board, to this uh, Scary Terry audio servo to see if I could project my voice through this the remote. So I went ahead and did that. I put a toggle switch also which it doesn't come with a toggle switch but I added one. Let's turn that on. Turn this on. And this is the remote for the Emilio. You better look at it. Now I'm going to talk into this thing. You can see it's talk, starting to talk already. One. One. Let me t turn on the speaker first. Hold up. pretty good. One, two, one, two. I am a cyborg. Ha, 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 ha. All right. So that's where I'm at now. And I'm going to try to attach the body and the base and the head and everything today and I'll continue this video later on. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, I went ahead and connected the cylinder to the Miglio guts, I guess you would call it, circuit board and his base. Let me shine a little more light on that. And I will switch him on. And I will control him, see that's how that works. Weight might be an issue later on. I might have to make some adjustments, but right now, I guess it's okay. Now I just gotta touch the head and everything else. Alright, 
That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Well, right, guys and girls, here he is, Gearhead. I'm done with all the technical aspects. I just got to put a, a dome on his head, and I plan to put a biohazard sign right here. Uh, let me turn him on and show you what he's about. <clears throat> Toggle switch. Turn them on here. One, two, three, hello. One, two, three, hello. My name is Gearhead. <laughs> Turn off the light, see how he looks. If you notice, he also has some lights on the bottom here. And I think this eye fish is pretty cool. Give him a kind of weird effect. One, two, three, one, two, three. so much for the speech. I can also connect an iPod to him or an iPad and then just run like some kind of sequence of conversation or something. Like, you know, like something like Crypt Keeper or something. Well, that's it pretty much other than the dome and the, um, the dome and the logo. He's pretty much done. Kind of pleased with him wasn't easy. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. This is Jeff Ortiz.